Trying the Zactec Whisper transmitter from the beach. It's just after 7 p.m. and about 90 minutes before sunset. I'll be trying various bands, 40, 30, and 20 meters. The multiband capability of the Whisper transmitter is great, but what about the antenna? Not only do we need an antenna that can operate on a wide frequency range, but it also needs to do it either simultaneously or with a complex switching mechanism. One thing you could possibly do is to open up the Whisper transmitter, identify the connections to the relay and bring them out to a socket on the case. Those connections could then control other relays which switch various LC networks that could allow an antenna to be tuned in on all four frequencies. My antenna is six meters of wire on a squid pole. The antenna is not resonant on any band. Instead, I've used three resistors connected as a pi section attenuator. These are 150 and that's 33. The loss would be about six dB. So you wouldn't use this in a serious transmitting application. The main purpose is to offer some protection to the transmitter. Because no matter what you connect to the antenna end, the variation in impedance won't be as radical compared to if you didn't have this attenuator network. Despite the inefficiency of this setup, there should still be plenty of spots. The 6 metre height of this vertical makes it a bit over a quarter wavelength on 14 megahertz a bit under a quarter wavelength on 10 megahertz and barely a sixth of a wavelength on 7 megahertz. I don't expect very good results there. As it got darker I added a bit more wire and even though it's blowing in the wind managed to get more reports on 7 megahertz. A multiband whisper transmitter can definitely be the key to many interesting experiments, despite the compromised antenna.